When Gloria Chin left Detroit to visit her sister in Los Angeles in 1946, she probably did not expect her life to change drastically. But at a visit to Paramount's canteen, she not only scored a screen test, but she also fell in love at first sight. Gloria was spotted by an insider at the canteen. Reports vary whether it was the wife of producer Sidney Bookman or screenwriter J. Richard Kennedy, who was looking for an Asian American actress for his dope smuggling thriller, To the Ends of the Earth. She aced the screen test, signed with Columbia Pictures, and was given the exotic name, Melia. <laughs> At the canteen, she also locked eyes with a lanky, boy-next-door type named Benson Fong, who had a regular role in the Charlie Chan films. They were married three weeks later. Aww. Inspired by a remark from Gregory Peck, Benson Fong and Melia opened a restaurant, which was so popular, there were eventually five of them throughout Los Angeles. I think I'm going to have the beef soup chow. Mm, I hear that's more of a... Oh, Mr. Fong. Yeah. I'm honored to have you in my humble place, Mr. Stephen. And, uh... Oh, my wife, Samantha. How do you do? How do you do? Please sit down. Yeah, thank you. Now, I'm certainly looking forward to the prospect of handling your advertising. Yes, let's hope we can bring that about. Melia spent the rest of that momentous year making her two biggest films. Your baggage is in cabin, Lizzie, and many flowers, all from Tuan Gordon. I wish I could take you with me, Mingling. Missy's so kind. Perhaps I'll come back after the war and visit you. Here, take this just to remind you. Goodbye, Mingling. Goodbye, Missy. She nailed the tour de force role in To the Ends of the Earth. I bet you two have known each other a long time. Just a year. Just a year. Back home in... Uh... Han Yin. She was my governess. Well, no wonder you feel the way you do about her. Everyone did. What do you mean, Princess? I mean, when the bombs fell and so many were killed, so many children without parents and homes that... Here, here. Let's not think about that anymore. But it didn't catapult her to start. Melia and Benson Fong were then cast in small roles in a police procedural. After two more negligible films, she left filmmaking to raise five children and manage her restaurant empire. This is Viva L'Amour.